was a mother, a friend, a sister, an aunt, and so much more to so many others. Right now at 6, Dale Williams sentenced today for the murder of Elizabeth Pledger. Family and friends called her Tammy. They say her love was taken away in a senseless act. Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. And I'm Keely Lover, and Dave has the night off. Judge Maureen Sweeney sentenced Williams to 23 years to life today. His first sentencing had to be postponed. That's when the victim's sons attacked him in court last week. You might remember this video. Check this out. It's the video of punches being thrown and tasers being pulled out in court. And it was a much different scene in the courtroom today. About a dozen sheriff's deputies placed throughout the room. Today, the victim's family talked about the woman they say didn't deserve any of this. Here's 27 First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner with tonight's top story. Just to let everyone know that who Tammy was, um, Elizabeth Pledger Stewart, um, better known as Tammy, was a mother, a friend, a sister, an aunt, and so much more to so many others. Andre Elliott is best friends with Elizabeth's Pleasure's son. He says Pleasure took him in when he was just a child. Um, from that point, a bond just grew like no other, and the love that she had for so many individuals was taken away. In today's court hearing, the aunt's victim apologized to the court for last week's incident. Pleasure's two sons started a brawl in the court with Dell Williams. When we saw him, his, his faith we felt it was so much emotion due to a flashback of how he, how he just killed my niece. The aunt of the victim says she felt Williams had no remorse and her family is left with heartbreak. We would be broken for the rest of our life and we would have, and the hole would never be filled. Elliot says he is very thankful for Judge Maureen Sweeney's judgment in the court. She did a really good job in the courtroom and making sure that he will never see the light of day again. And so we just thank her for that. And Youngstown, Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.